Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another DIY Live here on Essential Stencils page. I am Sharon Hankins from the blog I Restore Stuff and you can find me at irestorestuff.com or at irestorestuff on any of my social media pages. Let me know. Uh, hi Kathy, how are you? Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I'm from Australia, if you can't tell by the accent, and it is winter over here, so I do have my long sleeves on. <laughs> but uh, let me know where you're watching from. How's the weather in your neck of the woods? We're going to be doing some fun um, beach-themed projects today. I may get one or two signs done, just depending on on time. But I found a couple of the the beachy themed stencil mini sets on sale at Essential Stencil this week. So um, let me show you the board that we'll be wo working on to start with. Check out that color. This is Fusion Mineral Paints color Renfrew Blue. Now I've done one coat of that and I'm about to do another. But right now I just forgot something. So I'm always forgetting something on my lives. So right now you can hear me rustling around in the garage, but I'm I'm coming back and we've got the washing machine going in the background. Forgot my little code here, my sign that reminds you uh, that you'll save 10% off um, using my code I Restore Stuff. So let's see who we've got here. Kathy's watching, Kimberly's here, Margie, hi, how are you? Let your friends know that we are, um, oh, there's smoke in Michigan, smoky southern Michigan. Oh dear, cat under fires. Um, the smoke's creeping down there. Yeah, we love it when you share our lives. Uh, just hit that little button down there that lets you send it out, sprinkle out the love, um, and let everybody know that we're doing a DIY project today. We've got this, and then I have these couple of little chunks of wood. Now, I literally was testing out different stains for a desk project that my husband needed me to do, is just um, staining a desk, a wooden desk, and so I thought these would make just great little blocks that could stand alone on a mantle or on a tiered tray or something like that. So I might do one of those today using some of our beach sign mini sets. Let's see which one, oh, those might not fit, but I've got the By the Sea collection. Has anyone got this set? And I also have the beach set so it's a beach minis there's six by six stencils the beach set i've got everything listed on my um the description of the live there which sometimes you can't see that if you're on your phone and you're watching live but if you're on desktop you might be able to hit that or after the live goes live just click the description and it's got a supply list of everything that we're, we're using today including the size of the board and everything um, so hi cheryl hi larry christy i don't know maybe it's christy um Oh, I can see you here on, and Kay is here. All right, so when we're stenciling, we need an offloading piece of cardboard. I've got that. You know what else I've got today to add is these cute little totally dazzled bronze. I think they're the bronze set of C. It's a beach pack. C bling. So I want to add something from totally dazzled today. So that's going to be fun because you know what? They've got 30% off all of their site this week for the next few days. Don't know how long that lasts, but my link for Totally Dazzled is also in the description of the live. So I'd love you to use my affiliate link for that if you um, if you uh, go to find their beach stuff, that would be awesome. So let's have a look. I do need to do one more coat using this color. It's Renfrew Blue. Now this is an old Fusion logo. That's how long I've had this one sitting on my shelf. Um, but I just, you know, sometimes when your, fusion, when your mineral paint gets really thick, this is a furniture paint, it gets really thick and it's a water-based paint, just add a drizzle of water, shake it up, and it's good to go again. So I've just used a little brush to start brushing on. You can see that it, it's quite see-through. You could actually create a stain with this, uh, you know, rub it on, wipe it off. You can see it's a plywood board, quite a thin one. I think I've written the description up there. It's like eight by 11 or something like that. And it's a little bit, um, we can still see the background there. But it, I love this color because the other thing that I'm going to use today, I just wanted to add this cute little uh, turtle transfer on there. Now, 
Those of you who were lucky enough to grab these while they lasted, this was um, in Amanda's bundle that she recently released. But look at that colour in the background there. Uh, that, I feel like it matches with my Ren Fruit. It's a sea green kind of colour. So, um, yeah, so those of you who are looking for ideas to use your uh, transfers for, will for transfers for, <laughs> we'll be using those today just to add a little bit at the end. Um, but they have sold out of those already, So, but I do believe there is a little spot there. Maybe they're not even on the site anymore, I'm not sure. Um, but if you did miss out on those, yes, Denise, you missed the turtles. I know, you've got to be quick these days, don't you? And the horses we had there last week, um, lots of people taking advantage. of. They sold out really quickly. I think they're going to be really popular. And I know a lot of you are saying, I really hope Essential Stencil... Um, puts those out again. So do let them know if there's some things that are really popular. Let them know that you um, you missed out and you would like to see them back again because that does give us a bit of an idea, you know, what's going to sell well and what's not. But they were a limited release, both of those. But yeah, definitely. If, the, if, it's, not, if it's on the website, there should be a little spot where you can say, hey, I missed this. Can I, um, can you let me know when it's back in? So Brenda's asking what colour this is. Isn't it gorgeous? So there's, I'm doing a second coat right now. This is Fusion Mineral Paint and I do have my affiliate link here. If you, anyone would like that, please let me know in the comments and we will, um, we will link that there for you. If I miss it now or if Essential Stencil doesn't see your comment, I will go back through later and, and let you know. But the colour is called Renfrew Blue. Renfrew Blue. So um, I probably will go over and finish these edges at a later time, just for time's sake now. I am doing the edges of the ply board, but uh, I've done one coat on those. I'll just leave the second coat till later. But I love this colour. It's a gorgeous sea green, and I think it's going to go really nice with our beachy themed stencils today. Now, I am from Australia, and so most of us do live along the coastline. The beach is only about half an hour from my place, from where I live, and um, we always enjoyed holidays at the beach because my grandparents lived at uh, north of Brisbane, a couple of hours north of where I'm from in um, south of Brisbane, on the Sunshine Coast, it's called, and so uh, we used to enjoy, you know, two-week vacations at a time. Up at my grandparents' place growing up was a fun place by the sea, watching, collecting seashells and with our beautiful Queensland sandy squeaky sand, you know, squeaky sand is that kind where you walk along and your feet just squeak in that. So yes, it's fusion mineral paint and it's the colour Renfrew Blue. So do you like that? I love it. I think it's a great colour. Hello, Janet. Yeah, welcome everybody. As you're joining on, I know that some people have only just um, jumped onto the live. Don't forget, use my code I restore stuff and save 10% on any of your stencils that you see today. We're going to be doing a couple of different projects. I'm just going to grab my hair dryer because it is quite a um, overcast day today, and so things aren't drying really well. But we'll just hit this with the hair dryer, and it'll give it a bit, a little bit of a quick dry. And I'll just check your comments. We've got. Teresa from North Carolina, Hazel's here, Kathy. It is a pretty colour, I know. Hi Sandy. Is the water cold on the Australian beach? Yes, the water is always cold for me. I mean, it is refreshing on a nice, if it's a really hot summer's day. So we do get quite high summer temperatures here, similar to your Florida southern um, temperatures in the summer. So everyone hits the beach where I'm from here in sunny Queensland. Uh, we call our state is called the Sunshine State. So yeah, in Australia, uh, summer holidays are filled with going to the beach. But right now it's winter and people still go to the beach because we do still have really nice, clear, sunny days. It is a little bit like Florida weather. So year round sunshine, you know, occasional rain, of course, but yeah, so there's our nice Renfrew Blue colour. It's a sea green, I call it. It's going to go great with our what we're doing today. So I'm using 
for that first part. Anyway, I'm just still deciding whether to use my other set, which is By the Sea, and it comes with uh, a few little sea creatures, which is also a fun idea. This one is the Beach Pack. So if you don't have this already, it is on sale at, on the Essential Stencils site, uh, as well as By the Sea collection. That's also on sale. If you just type in the word sale, or go to the tab that says sale, you will see all of the essential stencil um, sale items. And there is quite a few little bundles there that you can, can get on sale. So use my code iRestoreStuff and you get an extra 10% savings. So I thought I'd do this one. So we've got these blocks as well that we'll want to do today. And I'm going to use this one for one of our blocks. It says, I love you to the beach and back. And I'm going to replace this... Um, palm tree with something else. Let's see what we think of to put there. This is the one I'm going to use here today. Life is better at the beach along with something else. We're going to replace the little sand dollars. You know that's something I don't see very often here in Australia is sand dollars. I don't know if maybe they don't have them here. I don't know. Here's what's in this one. There's the turtles. These are gorgeous. So if you didn't get Amanda's turtle set you can still stencil them. There are some turtle signs. We've actually got another larger turtle as well. Turtle stencil. Uh, I'll just use this black card. Take me to the beach. That's a cute one. And see, that's what we can use the Totally Dazzled for also, is they've got these cute starfish. So you could replace the starfish with some of these seahorses, shells, all kinds of bling. So that's fun. They're having a 35, uh, no, 30% off sale um, this week also. So use my code. It's in the link in the description. The link's in the description of my live with the supply list of everything I'll be using today. Look at those different coral shapes. You can stencil those. And then lastly, we've got sand surf sun. So you could use this, you know, at the top. I'm going to do two parts on here. So I'll be putting my turtle down at the bottom here. But you can um, use a board similar to this and add, you know, it fits kind of two lots in there. So you could put this at the top and then add imagery down the bottom. You know, you could put your coral down the bottom in different places. Um, or then there's the other set that you could use, which I love to show you different op options to mix and match. This one is called uh, By the Sea. And we've got our different ones like pelicans. Can you see that here? Pelicans and lighthouse, that's cute. Sun surf sand, you can use, you know, the words, mix and match them for these kind of look on this kind of a board. I'll give you the measurements for that in just a second. And then there's a little crab, that would be great on the bottom of one of these. Also, uh, octopus, a large whale. See, you could do all these kind of things, mixing and matching your words from the beach with your images on the, what is this one called, By the Sea collection. So those are two, and those are both on sale on the Essential Stencil site. So links are in the description, or Essential Stencil will put them here. Um, yes. All right, just trying to catch up. Yes, Rhonda. So, yeah, there's not an ambassador code for the Totally Dazzled, but I do have a link there in the description of the live, and I can give you that. Um, please just ask me at, in the comments, and I'll make sure that you get that, but it is in the description of the live. All right, so for this one, I was going to use this at the top. So I'm going to tape that down. Now, I just wanted to make sure that my turtle is going to fit down here at the bottom. I am going to use, I just like this one that's got the beach, it's got beach on it as well. So if you missed out, this, this is sold out now. Um, this was from Amanda's collection, Stencil Seaside Coastal collection of things. Oh, the other thing is we can um, remove these dollars, sand dollars. So I'm going to put that down the bottom. It's going to look great. So I'll pop that down the bottom, ready to do. But I did want to also replace these sand dollars. You could replace them if you did, if you did get this. You could replace these sand dollars with some of these shells. So this one here is around about the similar size as the sand dollar there. So you could replace them with this. Or you could do what I'm going to do today and replace them with 
some totally dazzled bling. So I'll tape those off because we don't want to accidentally get some. Um, and I'm going to tape my. Oops, probably hear it rustling with my microphone. Tape. I put the tape on either fabric or on your skin or just on the table just to collect a little bit of dust. Thank you, Kimberly. Yes, my Totally Dazzled link is posted in the um, description of the live, and that'll take you right to the page where those seaside ones are. Um, but yeah, 30% off on their site today. Thank you so much for using my link. That would be amazing. Now this one, hmm. just need to cut that in half. I'm going to go like that. This one I shouldn't really need it, but we'll tape it down anyway. So we're going to add Life is Better at the Beach right here. Let me just tip this down a little bit. Oh, you got the stencils, we've got the, we've got the turtles. Gotcha. All right. The board size. Yes, Bonnie, thank you for reminding me. The board size that I'm using today, and you could make it larger because mine actually, if you were going to use two of these um, sizes, it's not quite, it's about an inch off. So these are six by six, so this is probably obviously 11. Yes, it's 11. So if you did have a 12 inch board, would probably be better um, for if you're doing, you know, this plus something from the other set, like a pelican you would want to add that extra inch down there. But you could still fit him, just depends. I just have a board and I tend to just make my stencils fit <laughs> the board. So, and it's eight inches wide, so it's, what I say, 11 by eight. And that's also in the description of the live. I've got a complete supply list of everything that I'm using today. Okay, so here it is, and I'll just hold that down firmly there, making sure my turtle's going to fit down there. Stencil brush today. Now, brushes, are, I do believe they're back in stock. They have been for a little bit now. They come in four sizes. I think I've got all the sizes there. Yes, so a couple of smaller ones couple of, and a larger one, medium sized. Um, so today I'll just use this small one for these words because it's, they are quite small. There's no words too close to the edge, but if you were worried about your paint getting over the edge, you can tape that down if you'd like. I'm just going to use one of Fusion's white colours called Cashmere. Seaside bling is your favourite. Oh yeah, Joyce Ann, it's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I've got my piece of cardboard that I'm going to use to offload the paint right here. I'm just going to grab it from the lid, rub it all off onto the side, onto the board there. See, I've got quite a bit of a drip here, if you see that on sideways. I've got a lump of paint there, so I can go back and grab that later. But I want to try and get remove most of the paint off the brush. If you're brand new to stenciling, let us know in the comments. Please join in the conversation because that's where we're going to pick some prizes for our giveaway at the end of our live. Now I'm going to go onto here and do a little swirly motion with my brush and I won't get any what we call bleeding under the stencil or any fuzzy edges because I have offloaded my brush as much as I can. Now I've started out with a nice solid coverage and I'm starting to run it run out by the time I get to the E. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back in and this is kind of a sand color, sand dune color, isn't it? It's called cashmere. It's just an off white. So go back in, get a little bit more on your brush, but we don't want too much on the brush. Otherwise that will cause bleeding under the stencil and our letters will turn out a mess. You'll get fuzzy edges. So it's easier to go back on and do a second coat rather than um, uh, rather than go back um, rather than get it all bleeding. Um, it's easier to go back and get a second coat on your brush. Okay, I just sorry, I saw got distracted. Saw a question. What was my favourite colour to use in the totally dazzled collection? So I feel like I like the bronze. This one's got a bronze background. Now the seaside, their beach um, dazzle does come in rose gold, silver, and I think gold and bronze. So there's the rose gold, for example. 
So the rose gold might match as well because we've got some nice um, that colouring, a little bit of that colouring. It's probably more copper, I suppose, in that. Oops, my brush is drying out as I'm chatting. But yeah, I do like the I like the bronze, maybe only for its kind of antique look. But it probably depends on the background that I that I use. Good question though. What's your favourite? <laughs> Jackie lives near the beach also. That is awesome. Look, I know people that don't live near the beach, but they still love the coastal look because it makes them feel like they're at the beach. You know, that Hampton style living leans a lot towards the coastal themes, I think. And so a lot of people are loving that for their interiors right now. So You have a bronze in your cart, Bonnie. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I do like it. I do like the bronze. The rose gold is pretty too. Oh, I feel like every now and then I go, ah, I think I might have had too much on the brush. Wasn't concentrating on offloading that as much as I should have. Now that we feel like we've got that all covered. Now, if you wanted to, you can, so each of the stencils has little bridges to bridge the letters over. If you did want to, we do have these detail brushes tiny little brushes they come in six different sizes different size brushes and those can actually bridge those little gaps across here I like the stenciled look so sometimes I'll just leave them but I just wanted to give you an example of how you would sort of bridge that gap can you see that here maybe I have to come in really close uh, here we go zooming in um, just like this across E, you see that little bridge there? Those bridges are essential to the stencils because um, they allow the stencil. Now I've got to go and do them all. <laughs> but if I don't get it done now, they are um, essential to the stencils because otherwise we wouldn't have, like, for example, the ins insides of our letter B would go missing. There would be a gap there, a hole, a hole in the stencil. So that's how we do our bridges. It doesn't take you too long actually. But if you want those detail brushes, um, I can't remember if I put the link there, but use my code I restore stuff for all of the, you know, just put that at the end of the checkout when you close your cart because you will get 10% off everything in the Central Stencils website. And these are great detail brushes for just even artist detailing. I should probably put this. When you're finished with your brushes, pop them into a little plastic bag. I'll do that now. In case I want to go over that, because I think I'll use that same white colour for my next the little block sign that I'll be doing in a minute. <clears throat> Thank you. Essential Stencil has popped in there, the mini beach minis. Oh, they said they're 50% off, guys. There you go. And so if you use my code, you get extra off, an extra 10% off. So that's a great deal, these beach minis. Um, but you will see there's other, other stuff for sale there on the site as well. Okay, nearly finished. We're just bridging up those letters just to show you an example. Sometimes, I, you know, it's a personal preference. Sometimes we just leave them be. But this will show you exactly how you do that. This is the three, I know, three over zero. I don't know what that stands for. It's the, the, it's got the little number three on it, the one I'm using now. seems to me that it's one of the tiniest ones. I'm not all that familiar. It's, they're like proper artist brushes. I'm not going to go ahead and do those ones in the middle, just these ones here. So, Okay. There it is, that's that for the moment. And I'll wash this out in the water. Okay, that's that part. Now, what I needed to do to add to that, I was gonna add some of the sand dollar, instead of the sand dollars that are on the stencil, see how I taped those off? Let's have a little look-see. We're gonna add a turtle down the bottom of our sign. I like that colour white. It's kind of a nice off-white colour. Looks a bit sandy, like sandy beaches. 
So those are the little um, dollar sand dollars that come with the stencil. But instead I'm going to add some totally dazzled bling. So this starfish is around about that size. It doesn't really matter the size of them, but I think that would look cute there. <coughs> And to do that, now I do have their, um, they do have an entire, what do you call this, ultimate rhinestone applicator kit. And I love using that. It's got this cute little tool and a whole bunch, it comes with all of these rhinestones. So you can use my affiliate link and, um, and get this kit. And it also comes with the glue that I need, which is the B7000. It's, I, I don't know that we even have this in Australia, so that's a good... Deal. Let me see. So in this little beach pack of all their fun bling, let me just show you. They've got this cute little turtle, a fish. That'd be cute. So one of them. So a turtle would look cute right here. This one's got a few extra little blingy things that probably, I don't know, I thought they might dangle, but they are um, solid in there. A mermaid. This little starfish that looks like it's on a hook ready to, you could hang that from a necklace or a pendant of some kind shell with little bling on it. That would also look cute right here. And another little starfish, a seahorse and another shell. So all of that comes in the one pack, but they've got it all out there on the website, everything that's included. I think that looks cute. Let, let's see, our turtle's going to go right here. I feel like let's get him on first. And we need, all we need is a tool. So this goes for any of the transfers. I'll show you how to apply these. But those of you who did get the uh, sea turtles collection, I can't wait to see the things that you do with it. So some of you are in the stencil of the month club where you will be able to show us all your, all your pieces that you're making. And this should be super easy to just apply with the tool or you can use a credit card or something. But last week you would have seen, if you missed my live last week, I did the horse transfers. We've got the most adorable farm transfers, beautiful floral transfers. If you just look up the section on Essential Stencil with all of the transfers on them, you'll be able to see the great lot of transfers that they have available. So let me just, now that I've done that overall, I'm going to pick up the edge of our transfer and just peel it back gently. If I do see that any of it is sticking to the white background, then I'll put it back down, do a little more, more going over. It just depends on your board sometimes. And let's see. Sandy loved the horse projects last week. Can you put the transfers on fabric? Debbie, I have. I put it on a, if you go and check my reels on Instagram, I've got one there of putting sunflower transfers on a baseball cap. Well, a ponytail cap, actually. <coughs> Worked out really well. I haven't put it on T-shirts or anything like that yet, so I'm not sure how it goes in the wash. I still haven't done that experiment because obviously the, the cap, I didn't really, you don't really wash those very often. But I did put some, like a sealer over the top of it. I used a, just a, a flat mat sealer. And I only put it on the part where the transfer was. I think we're going to be okay. Let's see. Come down from the top here, making sure. Yep. That's a good method, just rolling it back like that seems to work well. I'll just go over these last edges, make sure it all comes off. I do love the way that colour just really suits that background colour. So Renfrew Blue, gorgeous deep sea greeny blue. And then um, we're going to do this block over here. I'll show you how we can fit that all in. We'll add this little bling. So totally dazzled. My link is right there in the description. If anyone needs that, we'll pop that in the comments for you. So this is the one with, it's got a, um, 
bronze background. So these beach sets actually come with a few different <coughs> like gold, rose gold, a few different colours. Here we go. So we have to do, and I probably will seal that. So if you're asking um, about sealing the whole piece, you could probably do that before you do the bling. Um, you could probably seal that whole thing and then put your bling on. Probably would have been a good idea, but I just wanted to, I wanted to get this done. Okay, so just adding a little bit of glue. I've got to add this, it's got a very tiny nozzle. Adding it just to the very tips, edges, because it does, um, it is kind of hollowed out in there, so we've got to get it all around the edges. Ready? Plonk. Oh, hopefully that'll stick all right. This one looks like it's popping up here. So catching those edges around. Oh, I hope you can see that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to do it where I can see it close. Getting all them edges. I'm hoping it's not the kind of glue. Does anyone use this? I haven't had it stick to my fingers yet, but I'm hoping it's not like super glue that I'm going to glue my fingers to the shell or the project, you know? <laughs> okay, we'll put this at this angle right here because that's where it fell. Just hold that for a few seconds. I want to get this lid in. Oh, this is a this is an effort to try and get this poked in. There we go. Got it. <coughs> Isn't that adorable? So here's our totally dazzle bling. I'll hold that there because it's still drying. Um, oh, I can see that it's, yeah, this starfish, it's just joining on one, two, three edges there. So it's a little bit, but it should stick really well. Isn't that adorable? So let's go on with this block here. I'll show you this one. Don't go anywhere because we do have prizes at the end of our live. <coughs> And I wanted to use this, I love you to the beach and back. And I think maybe we'll, I like this color. We could add that color around the edges or I could do another color. I like this color. Let's do that before we stencil on top. Yes, just in case I'll do, you usually do all of your background first. So if you missed the beginning of our live, this is just an off cut of a huge chunk of a desk a piece of wood that my husband made a desk out of and he was getting me to test the different coloured stains so that we could stain his desk. <coughs> and so it now becomes a sign because, you know, we don't want to just throw it away, do we? So now it's a sign. But I think that I like this beautiful bright colour and this is called, I don't know, how, how would you say it? Azure. I'm not French. Did I pronounce it correctly? Sue says if you use that glue with a glue gun, it helps so much. Oh, use the glue gun on the, the Totally Dazzle. Perfect. I like that idea. Okay, so this is a gorgeous, bright, bright colour. And I really feel like it goes well with the sea theme. I'm trying not to flick it, but I want to get it all around the edges. If I do get it over the edge on my stained section... I can always just use a wet cloth and wipe it off. There we go. So if you do get it over onto this stained part of the wood, it's just very easy to wipe across, wipe that off. But look, that's going to look cute for the edges. So this is the colour Azure and it's another fusion mineral paint colour. And I'm just using a little brush to add that on. Again, it's sort of coming over the top there, so I just want to grab that while I can with that wet cloth, making sure. Because I don't want to 
and wipe it off those edges that I've just painted either. <coughs> Thank you. I do like that I'm using some great some colours today because I usually do a lot of just, you know, the farmhouse black and white. I love the coastal theme for this reason that we can get some bright colours happening here. Um, this even, I think this even goes well if you did get the turtle images. I think, see that the, the blue, oops, the blue in the ocean splashes, I think would go well with this azure. Asia, azure, azure. <laughs> Love the aquas. I would call it teal too or aqua. Gorgeous colour. Trying not to get it over the edge. So see how I work from the centre of the side across to the edges but it does sort of still get a little bit on the edge so I'll just wipe that off because of my nicely stained wood. I don't even know what colour the stain is so <laughs> don't ask me that. I'm really not sure. It just looks like some kind of I don't know, walnutty kind of stain I guess. <coughs> Last edge. Here we go. And the Stencil sets I'm using today are beautiful coastal theme. One is called By the Sea with the animals on it and the other one is um, uh, By the Sea and Beach. It's just called Beach Mini Stencil Set and both are on sale today on the Essential Stencil site and you can use my code iRestoreStuff and get 10% off. There we go. Just wiping that edge off now. So this would be great for a little tiered tray look or just sitting on a shelf or a mantle. In your coastal room or out, but it's just another kind of fun stencil set to put even out by the pool if you have a pool, if you're in any area where you have pool. Look at that brightness. So this is the color of the natural wood. Then I've got that cute stain on the front. So I'll leave that down there. Add over now. <clears throat> now I should make a decision whether to use that bright colour on here as the stencil. So maybe I could, maybe I could do that. I love you to the beach and back. So I've got this on the brush just in case I want to use that colour again for something else. I will put it here. I could use my brush here if I wanted to, the round one, but I'll use a stencil brush. Um, and again, I want to use a, a little one. So I do have two sets because I used that smaller one for the other stencil. So it is good to have a couple of stencil brush sets. I do have the link for the brushes also um, in the description of the live. So what I'm going to do now is tape off these palm trees because I'm not going to use the palm trees. My block, now you're going to ask the measurements for it again. It's just an off cut and I'm making my stencil fit here. If I was to create an actual block, I probably would just make it easy and cut it to six by six, which is what the size of the stencil is. But it's definitely not six by six. It's probably three. Oop, here we go, four. It's four by four and a half, almost five. So yeah, it's four and a quarter by four and a half inches. So it's a little bit of a case of let's see what will fit. So I know the I love you will fit right across the top there perfectly. I think we decided it's longer this way so I could even tip it sideways. <coughs> mm, yeah it could fit that way if I wanted it to or if you've got a piece that it's going to not fit quite one way but one See this word beach comes off here, but I do notice that I love you is here and the beach comes up here, but there's no reason that I can't shift the I love you or shift this across. So I could put the I love you down first. And then, you know what? I feel like that this color may be too bright. It might create that, oh, what do I, how do I want to say that? I like that I kind of, It'll do something, you know how you see that bright, bright color against things and it does something, messes with your eyes? I feel like it needs a white background. So I will do 
this white color that we used earlier I'll do that in the background and create a bit of a shadow underneath or at least a background for that blue to pop so maybe I'll only use it for the word beach or something let's see let's see what we can do with it so I'll put the I love you on here but I do need to tape off this because I'm going to shift that across and then we're going to put something here maybe a seahorse or some kind of dazzle bling so let me see that yeah that's stuck really well actually but if it does come off I think I'll try the glue gun next because of those pieces are a little bit higher on that starfish that I was doing okay so I'm doing the white color um, off-white cashmere by fusion we're going to offload this onto our cardstock okay so I just have to hold this so I'm gonna to have to hold it sideways to get this done so that I can put my hand here and hold it firmly and then get the rest of the words on so I'm centering the I love you part and then we're going to do that with the white I'm just blotching because I feel like I've got a little bit of too much on my brush maybe we'll just do the blue part on the beach word there we go I love you <coughs> to the beach and back cute coastal theme today is anyone new to stenciling or transfers or any of the above if you've never done this before let us know in the comments okay so this says there's the I love you nice and crisp because we offloaded a lot of that onto our brush now I have to tape off the top part of the word also where I've just where we've just got the word I love you so that I don't accidentally get that on because we're shifting this slightly across I don't want it all the way because we want to fit maybe our seahorse the other thing is you could use again if you did get the transfers you could use some of these fun transfers to add to your <coughs> to your block now just gonna make sure I'm not too far that way and now I'm ending the word beach with the word you and making sure I'm far enough away that way we've got this all right adding the white these are very tiny letters when you're using the really tiny letters good to use a nice tiny brush this is the half inch stencil brush they come in a set of four make sure you use my code I restore stuff and you can get 10% off even the brushes and the transfers and the transfer tool if you are needing a transfer tool you can use your store cards but it's got a nice handle that makes it easier to grip if you missed it earlier I did a little transfer transferring can't wait to use that set and your turtle transfers Maggie says you're lucky one who got the turtle transfers that's awesome I still haven't seen any newbies here today do we have any newbies watching and listening on the live today love to know if you're here and you're new to stenciling you haven't really done much stenciling before let us know in the comments okay so we've got nice crisp edges there so we've left a gap here so we can add something to that <coughs> and then um, I'll just shift this slightly now we're going to create a shadow in the background for our word beach so that it sort of brings in that nice bright blue color on the side and just pop this brush into a bag I may be finished with it if I'm finished with it I will add it to the um, oh here's our other small one I'll add it to the water but because I'm not quite sure if I'm done yet so when we're doing shadowing technique let me see 
I can take this one away. So we're just doing the word beach. And I want to shift my I want to shift these tapes because I'm taping off the word beach right here to make sure I don't get the other words above it because we just go, are going to do that beach word in blue. Well, it's this color called azure. And this one doesn't fit quite. And we'll use this long one down the bottom. And we're going to create a shadow. So when you're creating a shadow technique, uh, creating a shadow, the white here is going to be the shadow. And so we just need to shift, slightly shift the word beach up and across. Okay, not that far, obviously, but just, just ever so slightly up and across. Okay, so here we go. We've got the word beach and we lay it down. I'll bring this up closer so we can see it. So we lay it down exactly on the word beach first to get ourselves to get our bearings of where we're at. So you can see that you can see the gap there. So let's lay it exactly as it was for the stencil and I want to shift it slightly up so you can see a tiny gap there and then slightly across. So we're looking at oop, we're looking at the word beach. So now we can see this little brown gap where the white, but we can still see the white. So the white over here will be the shadow and where the brown is and this white in the middle is where we'll be painting our bright color to create that shadow. So you just, you can move it either way across. I just moved it this way because there's more room on the board. Okay, going in for our beautiful azure colour, we've got to offload that on our cards board as much as we can to create some fun. Thank you, Joyce Ann. She's very encouraging, saying newbies don't get discouraged. Bleeding can happen to all of us from time to time, and it sure does. I've I've been stenciling now for years and years, and so I've gotten to where, but even now sometimes I'll just not be thinking about it, put too much on my brush and have a little bit of bleed, but it really does make a difference when you offload your brush with as much paint as you can to get, get as much paint off your brush as you can, but you still need some on there. So I always suggest practicing on a piece of cardboard first. So I'm going over here, but I'm not seeing much paint in there. Let's just do that again. And this as your color, it might be quite translucent. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Yeah, here we go. We're just gonna do a little pounce and swirl, like a pounce and smoosh kind of thing, rather than rubbing it all over, because I do have a little bit of extra on my brush to get that good coverage. But always, yeah, practice on a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper or just a scrap block of wood like this one and do a small stencil first to start with. That's what I always recommend if you're new uh, to stenciling. Just an off cut of wood and practice stenciling on that because you know what? You can always sand it off. Just a little bit of sandpaper will take that right off after it's dried, of course. Or, you know, wipe it off if you, if you want to. Um, but look at that. So we've got our, we've got our word beach and you can see that slight shadow in the background there where we can see the white stands out. But that is one of those really bright colors that kind of messes with your eyes if you stare at it. <laughs> Now we'll just add a teensy bit of something else. I think I'm finished with this color now. So and I'll wash those off. Add that to my water. And I'm going to use Totally Dazzled thing again here. Now don't forget we've got the description. In the description of my live here today, I have a supply list for you. It's got the names of the colors of the paint that I'm using. It's got my Fusion. Oh, no, you can ask me for my Fusion link, but it does have my Totally Dazzled link in there too if you want to use that. So someone suggested using a glue gun for the, for the bling, and I might have to try that next time. <coughs> but right now I'm going to be using this B7000 glue. Whoops. And I think this little seahorse would look great down there. Now, I did mentioned that it does come in other colors. Maybe I should try a rose gold or a silver. What do you think, guys? Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. Elizabeth's new. So yes, we are, we go live every weeknight, or sometimes it's during the day, every weekday on Essential Stencils page. So look, we've got the rose gold one as well. 
So we give you lots of tips for crafting and DIY, sign making, even uh, we, we don't just stencil on signs either. We stencil on all kinds of things. As you, you might have seen Melissa's live yesterday on the Coleman, we call it an esky. What do you call it? A cooler? Okay, so what do you think? I should use the rose gold or the, or the bronze? Let's have a look. Someone said, someone said brassy. Someone said rose gold stands out better. Oh, guys. Yes, Janet, you're right. The other key is the brushes. Essential stencils brushes are really great. Okay, so here's the, here's the bronze. It does look kind of good on the wood. And here is the rose gold. It kind of is a lot brighter. Hmm, what do you think? Antique bronze, rose gold. Guys, I think we're about even with comments coming through. Oh my goodness. Antique bronze, rose gold. <laughs> Either is cute. Rose gold. We like the white one. And there's silver as well. So uh, I dare not give you three choices, you guys. Let's see. Let's go with the rose gold just for something different because I always tend to use the bronze ones. I think they're fun. I just love the antique vibe. That's probably what it is. Okay. Using this, so don't forget our mini set. Um, we did this one earlier, so look at that. Let's see. Yep, they're stuck there pretty good. And you can see the 3D look. Isn't that cute? So cute. That's the one we did earlier, and now we're about to stick on our little seahorse here. But yeah, my, um, my link is in the description of the live for the Totally Dazzled, and they are having a 30% off sale this week, so... Take advantage of that. All right, I always get worried that I'm going to stick my fingers together. But this does seem to be quite a strong glue. I'm concentrating. Talk amongst yourselves in the comments there. And we are going to give away prizes very shortly because we're about, about finished once I stick this little guy on. Just get the high points, and uh, like I said with that starfish earlier, I didn't realize, but there's two of the points of the starfish don't even touch the surface. But um, there we go. You just have to hold it there for a few seconds. It probably does say, let's see if I can do this one handed, get this little spiky thing in. Oh, I did, I got it. And I'm going to tie it up with one hand. Oh my goodness, I did that one-handed, guys. I know the talents here, unlimited. <laughs> All right. It is wonderful glue. It really is a stronghold. I didn't realize how strong it was. And that's why I'm sort of concerned that I'm going to glue my fingers together one of these days. <clears throat> Welcome all our newbies here today. You, I hope you've really enjoyed this, this live. I've just enjoyed the color. I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling summery in the middle of our Australian winter here. Uh, so I've just held that on for a few seconds and look at that. Oh, it's still sliding. So maybe it just needs a few more a few more seconds. But that is so gorgeous. I love that azure blue. That is Fusion's colour azure. Great kind of coastal look there. And I love the turtle. And yeah, you could seal that, but realistically it's it's going on. A wall you know it's not like it's going to get uh, bashed around or something so it's like not going to get scratched up so let's take a look here we go we can st sit these up and let's look for our winners oh we've got winners already folks here we go I can see Rhonda's name I'm gonna have to go down here to see my the rest of our winners Annetta and Elizabeth you are winners on our live today don't forget Use the code iRestoreStuff, save 10%. And um, my supply list is right there in the description of the live. If you need that Fusion Mineral Paint affiliate link, I'd love to give that to you too. So there you go. There's our two projects that we worked on today. Life is better at the beach. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week for another fun live DIY. I'm Sharon from the blog iRestoreStuff.com. Check me out over there or on Instagram, Facebook, all of the places. See you next week. Bye.